everybody, I'm Hope with Battery Watering Technologies. This is tip number five in our video vault. I want to welcome all of my new viewers. Everybody else, thanks for coming back. Today we're showing you how to install a fully assembled kit on a set of golf cart batteries. If you know the electric vehicle manufacturer, the vehicle type, the year the golf cart was manufactured, the battery manufacturer, and the battery voltage, we can provide you a fully assembled kit. We offer two very helpful resources you can use when trying to determine what kit you need. You can go to our website and take a look at the drawings found under technical information. So let's get started. Let me show you how fast and easy a fully assembled kit can be to install. First, always wear personal protective equipment as required by your employer when working with batteries to protect yourself from battery acid. Next, remove the golf cart seat so you have easy access. Wipe down the top of the batteries using a soft towel to remove dirt and residue. Remove the vent caps from the batteries. You must make sure that the electrolyte levels are above the plates. If the levels are below the plates, Manually add just enough water to cover the plates in each cell. Using the drawing provided as your guide, lay the fully assembled kit on top of the batteries. I'd like to stop for just a moment to mention a special battery vent opening used US Battery 12V RX. This is what a typical battery vent opening looks like. This is the special battery vent opening. When inserting the valve into the vent opening, you will need to be careful to ensure that the float on the valve clears the internal obstruction. Damage will occur to the float if you push it into the vent well before it clears the obstruction. Now, back to our installation. With the kit laid on top of the batteries, insert each valve into the vent well without snapping the valves completely into place. Be sure to route the tubing underneath the cables whenever possible they should never be pinched. Now review the drawing and be sure you have the layout exactly correct. Now that you have reviewed the drawing and know that everything is routed correctly, firmly press on the top of each valve, snapping the valves into the vent wells. It's always good practice to tie down heavy gauge battery cables. However, do not tie them to the watering system as the tie downs may restrict water flow. The system is now fully installed. One important note. You have to wait until the battery has completed its next full charge cycle before watering. Always water the battery after charging. And that's it. Thanks for watching. See you soon.